Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and I just wanted to showcase an old school game that I used to love playing on the channel. Uh, the way I was going to showcase it was basically by speed, raid, speed running some of my favorite races and attempting to get the Series Cup gold medal on the beginner circuit called Holidays on the island environment. Now, a lot of you may know Trackmania from the newer games of Trackmania 2 or Trackmania 2020. Uh, there was also Trackmania United that reintroduced these environments. Trackmania Sunrise is where it all began for me. I used to play this when I was back in high school at like 16, 17 years old. So much fun. We're going to see if I can get this gold medal in the cup today and go from there. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy the video. Let's get this started. So we're going to start out on track called Skid or Die. Fantastic racetrack. Um, I've always enjoyed it. I just need to lower the volume in my headphones. Okay, there we go. So let's get started here. Now, Skid or Die, the very first track most people played on Track Mania. Not a bad track. Definitely not really a beginner track. If I do say so myself, video games back in the day were so different from video games now because, you know, it just threw you right to the wolves and this is the first track you started on when you played Track Mania. If you opened up Track Mania Sunrise, there was no just basic circle track or anything like that. It just threw you to the wolves and this is what you started with. Very difficult to not hit a wall in this section. And I usually slow down a lot, just trying not to hit a wall, but hey, you know, it is what it is. You know, we finished. That's a gold medal for the first track. Uh, not my best time, but that's okay. Now, second track, this is Car Park. Very difficult intro on this track, uh, I will admit. I'm very bad at the start of this level, because sometimes I'll hit that little curb. It's just been so long since I've actually actively played this game seriously that sometimes you just kind of forget how you really should play something. But I think we're fine. Not my best work on Car Park, but we made it. That's a gold medal. Let's get through the finish line. Two seconds ahead. My best time being a 34 second race on that track but track number three paradise island not bad i gotta get a 53 my best is a 52 so this one i generally cut it pretty close this intro i like to take it out wide and then cut in for that turn so i'm still sliding when it comes to this one so i don't jump too far this jump right here not exactly the easiest for beginners either because you got to keep it steady and then there's a little uphill right there to actually, that causes you to jump really strangely. Gold Metal actually crashes into the wall on this track. It's really weird how the old games were. You want to take it as a jump right there. Not an easy track, not very fluid at all. Could definitely learn to hit the brakes a couple times if I were to ever actively seriously speed run this game. But we still got the gold. I barely got the gold by 0.4. Jesus, I could use some practice. Night Flight, one of my favorites. I used to know a, a uh, shortcut on this track, but I don't honestly remember it anymore. I think my favorite track, though, being X09, or X Race 09. There's a really difficult shortcut on that that I've showcased. Actually, the first video I ever put on YouTube was X-Ray So 09 a uh, shortcut showcase. Very first video I ever put on YouTube, way back in the day when you could actually use copyrighted music and it wouldn't matter much. I put all that remains, uh, the band, as the background music on that video. A lot of people hated my music choice. Hey, that was my best time so far on this track, sweet. And this is, I believe, the track I usually lose. Good morning. Last time I went for gold, this is the one that I failed on. Because you have to start with this jump. And if you mess it up, you're in trouble. And this isn't an easy jump. 
to be honest with you. I mean, it looks easy compared to like how Trackmania is now, but back in the day, we didn't have all the weird glitches and stuff like that that we have now. There we go. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Of course, I took the wall. But I'm gonna hope that gold metal messes up somewhere or I can at least catch up a little bit. I can catch up because he hit a wall. Although I didn't catch up because I drifted, damn it. All right, so here's the skinny. We gotta take these turns sharper and I should be fine. Oh, this is close. I don't like it this close. Oh, okay. We made it. It's my best time on that. And we got gold. That's the Series Cup gold medal. Um, a couple other things I'll show off on this game. There was a platform mode. Platform, awesome. Uh, the whole point of platform was to beat the track with as many or as few resets or respawns as possible. So in a lot of current track mania you'll see some shortcuts from time to time and it's called a respawn shortcut and what you want to do is you basically hit a specific shortcut and then you respawn immediately at that uh, checkpoint in order to be faster on the race on this game there was a specific mode for that called platform now the whole point of platform was to not respawn ever it was to get from point a to point b and that was that there are some very hard platform tracks on this. I wish that you were going a little bit faster right there. Because it's not possible to go through that hole. But you want to use your air control. Which there's a track in this game actually called air control. Oh, we're playing it. Not a fun shortcut. There's another variant of that shortcut later on on a different track and you have so little space and you're going like four times the speed that I'm going right now but we're doing pretty well let's see if I can do this in zero on camera here it's not often that I can do this in zero tries it's mostly because of this ending it's very difficult to go perfectly straight in this game I think I missed nope perfect I love it. That's a zero attempt. I love it. Sweet. There's some other really cool stuff. Let's go over another mode. There's puzzle mode. There's stunt. There's extreme races, which is just an extension of this. There's crazy mode. Stunts. I'm going to show you guys my favorite stunt track. Chaos Theory. It's a very simple track. We're going to just say that. Very simple track. The whole point of stunt mode is exactly how it looks here. Just fling your car around, gain some points, and make it to the finish line in the set amount of time. And the point of Chaos Theory was to just throw your car over these bumps with an author medal of, I believe, 290? Oh, I thought I'd flip over if I hit the wall. But the author medal, I think, is like 297. I got really lucky. I think this 347 is the highest I've ever had. Ooh, boy. Hitting the walls on the side really ruins your run on this track. But there's so much fun to be had in old school Track Mania. If you want to get a copy of Track Mania Sunrise to play on your PC, this game was originally released with Windows XP in mind. So anything can run this game. I swear to God, anything can run this game. If you want to try to play Trackmania for yourself, I do have it uploaded on archive.org. Maybe I'll throw it in the description for you guys. It's a complete portable crack of this that completely 100% removes the Star Force uh, driver, which is really nice to finally have that option. Because what kept this game from being playable for a long time was the fact it only worked on Windows XP unless you did some trickery for installing the driver. So the original game had what was called Star Force for its anti-cheat. And the way Star Force worked was it was what a lot of people are afraid of now. It was a kernel level driver. And it would run when you run the game just to make sure it wasn't pirated or cracked. It took 15 years 
for someone to finally crack this game to the point that Star Force is not needed at all anymore. So, you know, you can, I don't know where I got this cracked version, but we're going to play my final, my favorite track for the final here. Very difficult track to finish. But, yeah, someone finally cracked it. Somebody finally made a version for the public that can be played on Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 11. I'm playing this right now on Windows 11, no problem. Doing fantastically. I'm super happy that I can play this game again. Because honestly, when they came out with Trackmania United, they adjusted the physics of Island a little bit, and I didn't like it as much. So, honestly, it wasn't really worth playing for me, because since they adjusted the physics slightly, the game just kind of was... I don't want to say unplayable, but at the same time, it was not the same, and a lot of tracks from Trackmania Sunrise were no longer playable in United because of the way they modified the physics. A popular track type in the Trackmania world for track makers to really show off their skills making tracks are called press forward and it basically just abuses the physics system like no tomorrow and these press forward tracks would have some really insane stunts in them but the problem with press forward tracks is they're made for being exactly the same every single time much like a task bot when it comes to a video game speedrun so when you change the physics of the actual environment it kind of ruined playing press forward tracks on this Ooh, i don't know how i got down here sir anyway it kind of ruined press forwards because you couldn't play those tracks anymore because the car was slightly faster and it turned slightly faster it had like more tire grip like you drift all the time in sunrise it's pretty much all you do in this car once you're above a certain mile an hour speed unit so in united when they tweaked the island environment it ruined the ability to play a lot of tracks because even the intros would get ruined on some tracks because they were press forward intros or something like that so Sunrise is the way to play the island environment, in my opinion. Ooh, 0.43 ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta finish this. I gotta focus. Because this could very much end up being my fastest run of this track. Let's go. I don't know how I'll beat my finish. My finish was insane on my best time on this. And yeah, I'd have to cut that so much. Let me show you guys one other feature of Trackmania Sunrise that I'm not sure is in newer games. You can actually go in to editors and you can find your replays and your ghosts and different campaigns and stuff. You can go to your replays and there's my replays. As you can see, there's a whole bunch that I've made, but you can click on every single one that you've recorded for a, uh, for a specific track. So we'll take X-Ray 09 here and click OK and you can actually play against your ghosts to have multiple ghost racers on the same map. So as you can see, it's all me right now. Oh yeah, and the other great thing about Trackmania Sunrise, custom cars. Can't do that in the new games. I am way ahead of my ghosts. I must not have saved the ghost for my best time. Huh. Weird. I didn't. I just noticed. Well, let's see how I do against my ghosts here, because I'm ahead of them. I'm not ahead of them anymore. Alright, let's go. There is a shortcut on this race um, of taking these more like a half pipe. I don't like taking that shortcut personally. So, I don't normally do that one, because it's just difficult it's not worth it not worth the risk but we are way ahead of my ghost so I might do a safety finish here Point 
0.47 ahead of my ghosts. Let's go. Come on. Hit the... I missed the finish line. That would have been quite possibly my first 119 ever on this track. I have never gotten below 120. And I've been playing this game for like 10, 15 years. Now that I finally got this new computer and can play it again, I've been going at this track like no tomorrow. Ooh, that one I had a weird bump. Wow. Whoa, I almost hit the checkpoint. That was insane. I was really close to that. Come on, let's go. I can't really give you guys the sciences behind this game like some people can in Trackmania, the newer versions. Because the newer versions, there's like gears and different slide and drift techniques. I don't know any of that stuff for this version, I'll be honest with you. I just sort of drive and hope because that's just what I know on this game. That's a very good entrance into the finish here. Come on, if I can get this straight. Oh boy. I didn't think so. I started spinning the wrong direction. That was unfortunate. But I'm close and I kind of don't want to stop recording this video until I potentially have this personal record. I don't know what the world record on this track is right now because the TM track exchange for Sunrise uh, is down last I checked a couple days ago because they were making some updates to the other parts of the website for newer games and I'm not sure if they're even going to bring back the Sunrise section of a TM track exchange so I don't know if I can even pull the record for this track anymore of whatever it currently is. Man, I'm pushing too hard because now I'm stressed because I've missed it twice. I want a 119, man. I really do. We're going to get this 119. We're going to do it right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try hard mode it here. Ooh, that was a great smooth line. Holy cow. Love that. This new keyboard I get carpal tunnel like no tomorrow silly clicky keys they have such a travel is the problem i'm so used to just basic bitch keyboards oh, i was trying not to swear in this video oh well got to keep that ad revenue up not that i make anything from youtube but you know okay i'm slightly turned that's good i don't have to slow down in the air hit the boosters get to the boosters we're good we're good we're good a little spun in the air, so that slows me down a little bit. This is good, though. 0.39 ahead might be good enough for a 119. Oh, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Being in the air for four seconds is ridiculous. Just shy of a 120 or a 119. But that's my best run ever on this track. 120 23. One more shot here. Let's do it. That was really good. The only thing I wish is when you beat a ghost in this mode, it would auto add it. But you know, it was an old game. It came out in the early 2000s. I'm not surprised by the some of the things that it's kind of missing that newer games have. So I'm not that worried about it. And there's nobody that's going to fix it or add that stuff back to it now. Maybe community patches and modding could do stuff, but honestly, I don't think it's worth it. Just leave the game alone. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I want that 119, man. I'm close. I'm so close. 0.81. Jesus Christ. I don't think I've ever been this close. I don't think I've ever been that far ahead of any of my ghosts. Let's go. I might go for a safe finish here. No! <sighs> One more. This is it. I promise. One more. 
Are we gonna try hard it? I don't know. I don't think I should, but... Because it seems like talking while playing this game, I'm doing better than my usual. It doesn't make any sense. I've got a text message. Oh, it's my boss. I don't care about my text message right now. It seems like it's the end where I really make up my time. So I'll focus on the end here. I know I'm behind pretty much the entire race right now. But it looks like I can make it up if I just take that super early. And then just take this turn really hard. And the sooner you get to this, these boosters, the better. So... I think we're good. Man, I am stressing. Oh my god. Just flew in. I lost every bit of time I gained right there with the way that finish was and the way I took that final turn. You see why I say it's so difficult for me to beat my record times? It's those attempted finishes. I just had such a sharp turn into it, my initial best time. Granted, I have a new best time now with that one twenty twenty three, but... I think I got it in me to get that 119 on video. I just gotta try and focus. I should have flipped my phone upside down because now it's gonna turn on every 10 seconds to remind me, hey, you got text messages. You stupid person. Anyway. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The way I took these final turns in this final loop in one of my best runs ever is just so hard to replicate. But we're always good right here and I lose it on these. But wait, nope, I might have it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't miss the finish. Oh, please. How do I land there? How do I land there? Last attempt, I promise. I want to be able to say in the video title that I set a personal best record. Because that's good clickbait. I guess it's not clickbait if it actually happens, right? I don't know how clickbait works, apparently. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm close. 0.19 ahead. Alright. 0.33 ahead. I think we're good. I think we're good. 0.61, so we lost a bit of time in the air because I slowed down to be safe. But that is okay, I think. 0.78, come on, we got this. Oh, we might have this, come on. No! Why am I spinning? <laughs> Man, I had it. It was right there. That was a 119. That was a 119. Come on. I can do this. I don't know why I'm choking. And point zero nine. I swear I can do this. Alright, that's enough tries in this video. That was a cool flip though. I'll talk to you guys later. I think this video was a ton of success. It's a f Fun video, fun game. If you guys want me to do some uh, track show-offs, uh, let's sit here until, you know, the cars come through because that'll be wicked to watch the jump. I don't even know if I will actually see him come through. Um, come on.
Where's the cars? They should have came through by now, shouldn't they? Maybe that's not going to work. Oh, well. Anyway, oh, I saw the tire tracks. There they are. Okay, that's kind of sweet to see that go across. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more Trackmania Sunrise videos, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to bring this series back to the channel because it's one of those games that I was originally very good at. And I think I could be good at again. I have hundreds of custom tracks on my computer from old computer saves that I could show off the track abilities of the old community that I would love to show off to you guys. So let me know if you want me to continue this series. I would definitely love to continue this series. I just don't know what you guys want. Oh, apparently shift will make you accelerate. Ooh, there's different camera views since when? <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, you can free cam. I didn't know that. Well, here's the look of the whole track. Pretty freaking sweet if I do say so myself. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.